Okay. Mechanical raisin harvesting, the harvesting ex itself after the raisin is dried is quite nice. It's, uh, it's less pressure than when you're using large crews. The actual picking of it is very nice also. When you properly cane cut all your canes or 90% of your canes, then when you come in about oh, 10 days, 2 weeks later to harvest it, it goes very nicely, very smooth. And then if you're able to wait that long to allow the dehydration process to start on your grapes, when you pick it on a single layer, um, it's picked on a single layer onto your trays, maybe up to two layers thick. Um, even with a little rain, it makes it more forgiving because uh, if you do get a rain, all it does is rehydrate the uh, grapes that have been dehydrated while it was waiting for picking. So uh, uh, I think it's a, a much better program than hand picking because it's just uh, uh, much more forgiving for the rain and plus the paper that's available allows the rain to go through the paper and then once the paper is dry it creates like a diaper effect so the raisins are off the wet ground. So I hear different reasons from people I run into about <clears throat> not doing it mechanically. What are the some drawbacks that you've run into with mechanical harvesting. What what do you not like about it or bothers you at all? Hard to come up with something, <laughs> uh huh? <laughs> haven't seen a whole lot of difference in productivity at all. Basically yeah. the same, uh, you know, you need a strong vineyard yeah. versus a weaker vineyard. Yeah. You've got to have strong vineyard where you can cut the canes and And everything. take care of it. Yeah. Uh, Water it and feed it. You've got to take care of it and do it right and feed it. But uh, uh, productivity has been the same. Our tonnage has been the same. Uh, you get, you may break a cane here and there, but you usually got eight or nine to pick from anyway. Yeah, so, you, yeah, know, you should. Just, yeah, you should. So it's not, it's just not a big issue, you know what I mean? It just. It really isn't, uh huh. Speaking of canes, I think, Ken, you've mentioned in the past how you think maybe cutting some of the canes helps next year's canes finish out stronger and better. But it appears uh, when we cut our canes, uh, say, end of August, uh, that dries down. And when once that all the leaves dry down, it allows sunlight to enter the canopy, which helps, I believe, next year's fruit wood to develop and mature out. So, uh, and also the nutrients that are being taken up by the vine, it's only going to next year's fruit wood primarily. So, uh, I think it's a good program. I think what what do you have for a crew? How do you um, you have to bring in a lot of people every year, or how do you manage this uh, workforce for well, harvesting? Well, when I was hand picking, I needed eighty to hundred people yeah. to pick. Yeah. Now it works out to about five people to run my machines, and then uh, to cane cut uh, about two weeks before I come in to pick, I'll have a crew of maybe about twelve people. Okay. Is that some of the family and uh, cousins and friends yes. of your regular crew or do you hire an outside contractor? And it depends. Sometimes uh, my regular crew stays up in the Washington uh, state area with the work activity up there so I may have to use a contractor here. I've only okay. used a contractor once. But that's 8 or 10 or 12 people or so? Yeah, about yeah. 12 people yeah. comfortably. And do they like doing that? Is that oh, a hard yeah. to get people to do that or are they okay with that? It seems yeah. like uh, it's easy to find people to cane cut. Okay. And you have an idea what it's costing you per acre to cut canes? Arnold has a better idea. Or you do it by the hour and whatever oh, yeah, it takes? Yeah, I just pay by the hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear seventy, eighty dollars or so. Do you... Uh, um, it could be eighty to a hundred dollars. If you're on a single wire, it's probably closer to seventy, seventy-five. Yeah. Double wire, you're probably closer to a hundred. Okay. Because they're going up one side and down the and other. Down the other. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, and the guys really like doing the work. 
I work with a contractor that does, we split up between three growers and he does, uh, it's about a 20 to 22 man crew and they hit three growers a day and they do 20 acres a day for each grower. Yeah. You know, and each of us have about 200 to 220 acres and they go through and do 20 a day to where over a 10 day okay. period we're cutting, you know, what we need to get. So if I ask you the question, I walk up to you, I'm a neighbor that's a good listener, you know, don't have my mind made up too much. Hey Arnold, uh, what are some real reasons why I should not go to mechanical raisin making? What would you say? You know, we've had this conversation, and it's kind of hard to come up with reasons. You know, uh, eight or nine years ago, I would have said juicing, uh, beating up the canes, uh, things like that. But now there's just uh, not a lot of drawbacks if it's done right, Don. Yeah. If it's done right, if you cut the canes right, if yeah. you prepare your ground right, I mean, if you got good equipment done right, it's actually uh, it's a better way than hand. So how have your grades in sand and foreign uh, matter and other and all that gone the last four, five, six years? Since we started doing it ourselves, uh, it's pretty much right out of the field and in the bin and off to sunmade. Yeah. Know, because uh, there's just not a whole lot of, uh, we kind of monitor the bins as, they, as we pick them up. If there's a sandy bin, we'll throw it out. But, I mean, we'll pick up 200 bins and maybe throw out four or five. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the thing is... Uh, not a whole lot of sand dockage. It goes through, you know, nice. You know, again, done right. You don't beat it up. You don't yeah. use it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it's sure. just a good product, you know. Yeah. And there is nothing sweeter than when you're running that pickup machine, you know, when they're all dry and you're running down there at about three and a half miles an hour and the bins are pumping up. I mean, they're just nothing sweeter. It's just that. pretty clean, pretty nice looking, isn't it? It just really is. I mean, it, uh, it brings a smile to your face, whether you're picking up or even when you're up on the harvester. When you're up on the harvester, after you cut the canes, you can look down at that field and you see that checkerboard effect. You know what I'm talking about, Ken? Yeah. You know, dry, green, and yeah. you see all those nice green berries going up the conveyor belt and being laid on that continuous tray, you know, and you're thinking, you know, you run down there about a quarter mile row in about maybe six to seven minutes, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what? Well